Hey everyone, and welcome to The Killer Bits. Now, back on April 1st, Nintendo did a Nintendo Direct, and as a result, I want to talk to you guys this week about these guys. And this is an amiibo. Now, I have four amiibo. I have Villager, uh, there's a DK, I have Diddy Kong, and I have Pikachu. And these are actually not the most useful amiibo because they don't have very many compatible softwares. Anyway, now, Nintendo, this during their Direct, announced uh, a whole bunch of new amiibo, not only figurines, but also uh, cuddly toy amiibo and even card-based amiibo. And I'm just wondering, is amiibo getting a little bit out of hand? Now, through to September, there are going to be in total 54 figurine amiibos. Some of them are repeats, so in terms of the Mario Party 10 release, there's a couple Marios, uh, for example, a couple Luigi's, that kind of thing. But for the most part, these are unique characters. Um, so there are 54 with month-based release dates or that are already out. And if we assume that they cost £10 each, mostly they're actually more than that, that is £540 worth of characters. They've also announced three Yan uh, Yoshi amiibos to tie in with Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, and they're just Yoshi amiibos, but they're made of yarn and they're kind of cuddly toys. And they come in three colours, uh, pink, blue and green. And they've also announced card-based amiibos. So these are just these little kind of, I don't know, plastic trading cards uh, that tie in to um, a new Animal Crossing game based on decorating houses that's coming out. So this is all the kind of news that we've had on Amiibos. And I feel like it's getting a bit ridiculous, personally. Like, basically because certain Amiibos, for example, the Villager one that I actually have, by chance, are uh, in quite high demand because they're only releasing in one wave, to the point where you can go on eBay and find very highly priced listings of these figures, um, in their original packaging because they're now seen as a collector's item. And to me, I feel like if you're into Amiibos, collecting them is becoming more of a frustration than it is a hobby because it's so hard to get some of these Amiibos. They sell out that quickly, like pre-orders are selling out faster than God knows what. And it's, it's getting a bit ridiculous. And I could understand Nintendo's standpoint on this because at the end of the day, it's gonna make them a lot of money. Like it is a very lucrative, business for them. They've basically gotten people super hyped about what little, like plastic figures. Um, but at the same time, I feel like the speed at which they're releasing new content is at a rate that people who are into collecting these sort of things can't keep up with. And as a result, I think that in the long run, people are going to lose interest because they're going to be too frustrated with how hard it is to catch them all, so to speak, uh, in order to get them. And I think that that is kind of detrimental. The other problem is that if we look at compatibility, for example, now let's look at Diddy Kong here. Diddy Kong is compatible with Smash Bros. And that's more or less about it. I mean, some games have unlockable features where you can use any amiibo. So for example, in Mario Party 10, you can earn in-game currency by touching any amiibo once per day. But like with Diddy Kong, like I, ha I haven't actually used him with Smash Bros. He just kind of sits on the shelf. But there's not that much content associated with some of the more obscure ones. Same, same with Pikachu. Like there's not a Pokemon g game yet that has Pikachu functionality, for example. And when I heard the announcement of Amiibos less than a year ago, back um, when they came out in uh, in November, I expected them to be compatible with nearly all Amiibo compatible games in, in some mechanic or another, but that really isn't the case. Like, other than Smash Bros, there's very limited functionality for Amiibos outside of the Mario universe. And to me, it's just, seems to be like overpriced subpar DLC. Like last week I was talking to you guys about Mario Party 10 and for example, Donkey Kong, he unlocks a um, a level, but for all the other eight levels, they're again behind a paywall of owning that amiibo. And sure, I can use Donkey Kong in Smash Bros and I can unlock a outfit for Mario Kart for my me. But beyond that, I feel like they need to spend more time working on putting more substance into their games from amiibo than they do just releasing wave after wave after wave. I mean, sure, it's important that you guys can get your favoritest character ever uh, and have him, but at the same time, you really can't kind of do that because there's such a high demand that a lot of the more obscure characters just sell out straight off the bat and thus you're not actually going to get your hands on them. And I think kind of the cost for, what is it, a plastic figure with a NFC chip in the bottom? Uh, I, think, I think the cost and the lack of availability is something that Nintendo needs to work on. I mean, how do you guys feel about Amiibos? I feel like I've been suckered into buying these little things and uh, I've only got the four, so I'm, I'm not too addicted. But 
What do you guys think? Do you think it's a, I mean, it's a very clever marketing idea by Nintendo and it's kind of, they've struck gold on this one, but do you think they're taking Amiibo in the right direction? I mean, these cards, for example, with Animal Crossing sound really bizarre. Who, who's going to buy cards? I guess trading cards, I should say who's going to buy cards. I bought Pokemon cards as a kid, but at least there was a, a game involved. And I mean, maybe they'll put them in like packs where you don't know what you're going to get and make them kind of collectible and tradable. And that's the kind of angle that they're going for. And I mean, props to them, you know, people are going to buy that. But I think in, in this case, like that, that seems like a questionable decision because I just, I don't understand why anyone would. Um, whereas the Yoshi amiibos, the cuddly amiibos, that sounds great. Like people love plushies anyway, so to make a plushie an amiibo seems really clever to me. So I guess there's, there's there's two sides of the story. But then I'm also wondering, does the Yoshi plastic figurine is that one compatible with, with Yoshi's Woolly World? Uh, so all sorts of questions, but not really a lot of answers. I mean, what do you guys think about ami amiibos? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Uh, let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm here for Jessica. And if you like this video, you like amiibos, you hate amiibos, whatever. If you hit that thumbs up button, that would be awesome. It's down there in the there in the corner. Uh, we also have a Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the kilobits and a Twitter at the kilobits. And uh, yeah, that's just some thoughts after the Nintendo Direct. Um, I've been Francesca and this has been my vlog. See you guys next week. Bye.